Welcome back everybody to a very special game on the channel and today we are playing Cosmoritis. I don't I don't know <laughs> It sounds like it sounds like a, a disability or or, or a, a disease um, I don't know how to pronounce the game Name you know me. I barely know how to pronounce things, but you know Terraria has like really hard things to pronounce But I, again, I looked them up this game ain't even out yet It's it's obviously an alpha version the developer of this game actually gave me a steam key to play on the channel And I want to make this probably one of my better videos I want to give my honest opinions about how the game is and how I see about it So I did play it off camera for a little bit with that being said, we are going to play this game right here. It is a early access game and it comes out in 2024. I didn't see uh, a specific date. I didn't really check. I just know it's 2024, so it's not even out yet. But there's some pretty, you know, interesting stuff right here. It's just like the, the sounds and stuff. It's pretty early on. So we'll go ahead and make a new world and we'll make um, Boo and, we'll, and, and you can do seeds, of course. So. The, w the way this game works is it reminds me of Stardew Valley, Terraria, and Minecraft put together. And the reason why I say Stardew Valley is because it's got the camera angle of Stardew Valley. So it's pretty, it's actually pretty cool uh, the way things are. And, and the way you mine is very Stardew Valley-like. So I can kind of see the inspiration there. Uh, with that, there's slimes, which kind of do remind me of Terraria as well. And, and it's got like a Minecraft feel to it. Of course, the game is pretty bare. It is obviously, of course, in alpha stage. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do. There is pretty cool stuff that you can do here. Um, I, I, I wanna like search more. I don't know if there's a map. I haven't really, I haven't really checked. So we got plant stuff, right? So we got 12 of those. Now we need logs for torches. So I'm assuming it gets dark in the game. So this is copper ore uh, when I played it. So you can't really see your pickaxe. So you don't have a pickaxe. I think you just have one on you. So that means that you really don't need to make one. So you can make floors and you can also build, which also reminds me of this game called um, Necess, I think it's called. It's pretty cool. Um, that game is. And this one is is it's warming up you know it, of course there has to be a lot more added to it so uh, it's it, it's an alpha stage like what are we gonna like what can what can we do what can we do so i really do enjoy what's going on like i kind of wonder if if like the this what did they drop so i got a coin okay so that kind of reminds me <laughs> it's kind of like a terraria like i kind of i, I kind of like the idea of this game um so, and you got a slime ball too. I don't know what we can do with slime balls, but I do know that we need some wood to make a, a, I think, what was that called? A wooden workbench, right? I'm gonna try to build a house if it's possible. So we got eight oak wood. Okay, so I, I assume, oh yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, definitely, we're gonna definitely need to kill the slimes. <laughs> I'm like, do the slimes hurt me? I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like if they were hurting. Uh, I kind of wonder if there's any other entity in, uh, in the game other than, you know, other than the slime. I don't think there is, but I will say, I will say we need to get some stone. Maybe we can make a house out of stone or not. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. I need some more trees though. I need to find another tree. You don't start with tools. Your tools are basically already on you. So Maybe you can make some better tools. I'll have to figure that out. And I also noticed that there is ambient temp. Uh, body temp is 36. Thir okay, so it's 72 degrees uh, Celsius and 22 degrees Celsius. Don't ask me what that is in Fahrenheit. I, I really don't know. I'm not sciencey like that. Um, I don't know the math or meth, depending on how you look at it. Look at it. Like a, a math could be anything to you guys. So there is temperatures. I don't know if that's going to matter. Oh, dude, I've noticed that we have food and my food is going down. I kind of wonder how we get food. Do you think, do you think the slimes drop something like that? Or do you think something else? I don't know what we can do with the slime balls. We'll have to figure all this out. Maybe we're going to need the, the stone for a furnace. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, these games are right up my alley. I really do like these games, especially it being more space-like, it seems like. I, it's really... It's really interesting in my in my honest opinion here. There's definitely a lot that can be done within a couple of months, like for real. Like this game can end up being probably one of the best games. And of course, as sandbox, this is a basically a sandbox game. 
as sandbox games usually are in their alpha stage, they're kind of bare. I mean, look at how Minecraft was developed <laughs> in its alpha stage. But there is a lot more into this game than there was in, uh, than there was in Minecraft. Um, of course, Terraria had more than Minecraft in, in their pre-alpha <laughs> stages. So this is pretty cool. Um, I already got a lot of stuff, so let me go ahead and make a workbench. And the way the, the way you place it down is you put it in your little hot bar right here. And yeah, look at that, we have one. So you just, so by the way, if you want to craft, you kind of just stand by it. Kind of like a Terraria thing. So we have some coins, which makes me think, is there NPCs in this game? Or is there going to be something to, uh, to where you can buy stuff? I don't know what is currently in the game, but I will figure it out. Um, we'll try to figure it out. So, uh, I can make wooden floor. I can make a stone anvil. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, that's actually a really cool idea. I don't know what those are. This looks like it needs a chili pepper. That means, that means there's crops in this game too. Okay. All right. Now we're getting the idea. Okay. So you can make stone workbenches too. For some reason I can't make these. Oh, okay. I can. It was just darkened out for some reason. Okay. So we do have some torches. Now let's go ahead and make a stone furnace and see what the stone furnace looks like. Well, we'll set up right here, actually. Now, with the furnace, what can I do with that? So that means I can make copper bars with the copper. We'll go ahead and do that. So let me make a couple wooden walls and then maybe make a couple wooden floors. Maybe that would be cool. Let me actually see if I can place the wooden walls down. Um, let me see how this is gonna work. Okay, all right, all right. I kind of have a fig. I kind of can figure. Let me figure this out real quick. We probably can make something really, really small here. The walls, uh, because it's like a two D, two uh, D, three D type style up here. I figure maybe, maybe we should make some more because I think. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna make some. Okay, we're gonna make some more wooden walls and we're gonna figure this out. Let me go ahead and save and exit the game and let me check the controls so e is for inventory of course move okay so navigate to home is c sprint you we can sprint so we obviously have that all right and then space should take off what what oh man i already forgot the the control so it was c wait home okay hang on hang on real quick what is that navigational oh there's an okay so there's a navigation exhaustion Whoa, okay. All right, now I'm get now I'm now I'm getting kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, press E to open the inventory. Thirty eight and a half, uh, thirty eight and seven halves. Oh man, this isn't gonna be good for me. <laughs> I am not very, very good at math here. All right, so, all right, I'm gonna leave that there. That's just wood. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, I'm gonna walk in this way because I seen the home logo over here. Maybe that's just your. S I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I think it's maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna explore in these uh, in this world over here because there was a um, a dirt area which I'm, I'm kind of assuming it was a desert. Maybe it was a different biome. I'm 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 kind of assuming that it was that. But this game is pretty cool already. It's kind of uh, again kind of bare. It does need more material, but of course that is definitely soon to come. I can I, I can see that, that there's gonna a lot be more added into this game along the way, and that's just how games are are usually they they they're usually that way. <laughs> so we found tin. Okay, so I found tin ore not too long ago. Um, I seen this rock and it was a little bit different to me. So I'm assuming that there's gonna be a lot more metals. Also, look at, so, okay, so copper seems to be the most common one. Um, so, now that I know that there is a different ore into this game, I kind of wonder, like, what's in this game? Is this more tin? Let me, let me see if it's more tin. It could be something else, but I am assuming that it is tin. Yeah, this one is tin ores just as well. So, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I, I need I'm gonna need to find some food quickly I don't know if you can find some food from these little plants here what do you what do you think what do you think can we do you think we can find some food from these little teeny plants I'm assuming maybe maybe some seeds kind of like my uh, minecraft when it comes to the grass uh let me let me check I don't know what I can do with this can't plant it I don't know what to do with it 
if there's iron in this game, I'm kind of assuming that there is. That's like the standard with these like types of uh, sandbox games. Like there is always going to be iron in the game. But if there is iron, I'm kind of assuming that's most likely going to be the way you, we can make maybe better tools. If there is any, I would like to assume that there is better tools. I should make a stone anvil, actually. Let me go ahead and do that. Stone anvil is definitely where it's at. Okay, so there we go. Okay, okay, so there's some stuff. Okay, let me go ahead and um, pick up the wooden workbench. And we might be able to actually go ahead and throw that away because I'm going to keep the stone one. And I, I kind of like the way the lighting works. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Kind of light it up over here just to make sure. I don't know if there's any other mobs in the dark. This is spooky. <laughs> this is really spooky. Okay. Um, so here's a, here's an arrow. We can make an arrow. We can make a stone axe, a stone sword. Let me make a stone sword. I feel like a stone sword would be good. And, a, and an axe, maybe, possibly. Okay, I don't think we can do that. We don't have enough stone. Let me go ahead and get some more stone. I do have a lot of uh, slime balls. And yes, there's dur so there is durability on the things here. I'll go ahead and make a stone axe and a stone axe. Right, we can make a stone bow and some stone arrows as well. If we make some stone arrows, we'll get 48 of stone arrows, right? That means I can shoot the things. And yes, we can make some stone walls. Let me see if the torches have that like dynamic lighting kind of feel to it. Yes. That's the best. All right. Keep that open. Grab all of our stuff. I don't know what home is. I'm assuming home is a spawn. Looking at it, it seems like it's my spawn. So if I can go ahead, go in a diagonal direction and find that little house I built, maybe we'll set up something right there. I don't know if there's anything that I can find in the world that will actually... Uh, like any like generated structures, I really... I really couldn't tell you, <laughs> but I am, I'm actually enjoying the game. So like literally so far, I really don't know how to, like I said, I don't know how to explain how it feels again. I can feel the, I can see the inspiration of other games, but it still has its own feel to it, its own take. And I like it. I, I, the final release I would love to play, to be honest, I kind of wonder, I kind of want to see what direction this game goes into because it would be really cool to see. Like, um, I don't really talk about what I do uh, in my spare time, but I will say that uh, I f subscribe to smaller YouTubers, such as myself, to see if they blow up. And that's what I do. I just, I do that. Like, so I, I'm subscribed to a lot of smaller YouTubers to see if they make it. And if they do, I, I always usually go, oh, look at that. A good explanation of this was Tyler Tube. <laughs> I was subscribed to Tyler too, but when he had 19,000 subscribers, which is insane to me. So look at this. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to wait until morning. You want to know what would be really great if we could figure out like how, what time it is or like wh when, where the sun is going to be at. Because of course it's a, it's an upside down shot. It's like a bird's eye view, kind of like Stardew Valley. Um, I will say that it would be really good to know. But I'm I'm I, I might not go because this look this reminds me of a desert. This is cool. Wait, these are all different like little areas. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's actually really okay. This is more foresty. Well, I found that. Um, I need to wait until morning. I might let the game idle until morning. I kind of don't want to die though. <laughs> I I can I, I'm gonna probably run into like a million slimes and I'll probably end up like dying. So this is kind of interesting. I don't want to lose these biomes, but of course, home is, shows over here. So I kind of want to figure out if there is any anything else. Like if home is like a certain base, maybe? I don't I don't know. A, ma a map would be pretty cool to have. And then uh, the cooldown, or I think the home thing should stay open a little bit longer. Um, definitely got, we got, oh, oh, oh. The sun does not go down. <laughs> a lot of Linkin Park references in this music or video <laughs> in this video today. That's so I kind of, yeah, I, I kind of did figure that there was going to be tools in this game. So this kind of reminds me of like a little desert or maybe a savanna biome or a wetlands. I guess the savanna biome is a wetlands. 
I don't know. Actually, it's... Oh, a, oh. Yeah, Savannah Biome. It's got acacia wood. What? Uh, I'm gonna... I, wanna, I kinda wanna figure out how to get some... So, I have a lot of plant matter. But look at this stuff. Like, we already have 300... 320. Uh, we already have a lot of this. So, we have acacia wood. Kinda wanna know what this is. But, like, I can't... It just says question mark. So, I really don't know what it is i got the i got the thing but what else is that like what what could that be what could that be a ladder by the way we can make a basic cave exit a basic cave entrance let me do that okay i unlocked a whole new thing what's that up there hang on hang on hang on i see something up there and i'm gonna go over there I have so much stone now. All right, let's see what's it. Let's see what let's see what this this is. Oh wait, I can't get in. Hang on. Wait, now all of a sudden it's working good. What was I using this whole time? What is that? Whoa. Wait, hang on. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a cave slime. I think these gave me the cave berry. That's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and mine these up. I need some cave berries. Whoa. There's a whole cave right here. Wait, hang on. I've seen, I've seen some stuff. Cave berries and stuff. Oh, dude, it'd be cool if those glow. If those had like a glow to them, that'd be kind of dope. Cause they're like a cave berry, right? And it's dark, so like cave. It would make sense, kinda. I don't know. This is fine sand. Ooh, we can. Use... I feel like we can use some of this. I feel like I can make a chest. But then again, I, how am I to do? If we can make a chest, there's no saying if I can or not. Yeah, there's nothing here for me. Can I make like a, a different pickaxe? Um, the freaking stone slimes trying to get him, trying to get me. Maybe this is the way to get food though. Like I, I didn't know. I kind of want to figure out what that is. I probably won't end that episode until I figure out what that crane looking thing is. I'm trying to figure out what this thing is. Oh, glass. Oh, but I don't think I have the right thing. I need 12 and 6. So, that, and I only have, how many, what is that, copper? I need, if I need 6 copper, right, I need, I can go back up and get copper because copper is easier to find, not underground. So, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and try to find some copper. kind of want to see what that thing is, and then we'll see what we can do after that. I really, really want to figure out what that is because <laughs> you need glass for it. Um, let me go ahead and place these down because I have like so many of these things. I don't know why I keep making them. So I do like the idea that you get like half of uh, stuff, um, which makes it more realistic to be honest. Because um, if you if you mind uh, if you mine certain ores, doesn't mean you're gonna get a full like in get. It means that you're gonna get a half of it maybe or less than half. It's really it really is cool actually, on uh, to see how like that how it's made. So, let me see. I got one, and I got five and one four. Yeah, see, that's more realistic, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, I kind of like the idea of that. It's really sweet. It's really sick. Is it? Oh, I, I think we found some iron, boys. I think we found some iron. I kind of want to see what I can do with the iron. This game is, like, opening up, like, so much, like, oh, can, what can you do with that? It's great. I kind of, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, this is a blast. And we can make the research station. Okay, all right. This is getting even better. Oh man, I keep unlocking stuff. All right, what's the research station do? Let me, let me, let me freaking say. All right, so how does that work? How does the research station work? So I see a thing on the bottom that says two sixteen. I'm trying to figure out how like the research station works. There's some other stuff that's like, of course, it's it's blacked out. Like there, that looks like a little computer. Like right. I bro definitely won't be able to get through everything uh, in this episode, of course. <laughs> All right, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get through everything in this game. Uh, I would probably be able to spend hours playing this and, and figuring out, and it's already getting nighttime, and nighttime takes a pretty long time. So let me actually mine this iron real quick. Hang on. Maybe we need a lot of it for it to work. Let me, let me check. All right, so we have a full-on 10 iron ore. And there is nothing over here that says I can do anything. Um, maybe I'd need my research station. I'm going to go ahead and save this save. Because maybe, just maybe, maybe, 
um, we can do some other stuff with it as well. Um, this obviously is a different build, and I can't see anything. All right, well, yeah, with that said, uh, I'm not going to be able to go through everything in this game uh, today in this episode, but um, huge thanks to the developer for actually sending me an early access uh, of this game because it is really interesting. I really do like it. Um, there is some stuff that could be obviously improved, but uh, that's that's how it goes for games in alpha mode, right? That's how it goes. So, or an alpha build, alpha mode. I definitely sound like a... Dun- <laughs> Um, but yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, uh, be prepared for this game. Uh, it's apparently set to be released in 2024. Um, obviously could subject to change. I don't know, but it is really cool to say the least. Um, let me go ahead and save and exit the game. It's called, uh, cause more. I, I don't fucking, I don't, (laughs) I don't know. But it is an alpha 0.14.1, so it seems like it's been out for a, quite a while, to be honest. Um, I don't know how long, um, 14, so I think you start... See, when you build a game, it's, it starts out, I think, 0.0.0, I think. I don't freaking know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this game was really fun, and uh, I really do enjoy uh, the idea of everything, and I really would like to see how it goes and... Uh, what's added to the game and that's it'd be really 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 cool to to say the least so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and as always subscribe to uh, stay tuned if you guys are new around here and leave the video a like and as always i'll see you guys in the next video peace